Now at five, there is growing outrage tonight over comments by Georgia Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene, including calls for her to be expelled from Congress. The Republican freshman has advocated the execution of Democrats such as Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton and endorsed wild conspiracy theories about the Parkland shooting. CBS 4's Jim DeFeedy joins us now. And Jim, one video of hers is getting a lot of attention. Uh, it certainly is, Lauren. You know, Marjorie uh, Taylor Greene is a wild um, a conspiracy theorist. Uh, she often has said that mass shootings are really staged by left-wing activists as a way to uh, justify assault on the Second Amendment. She's questioned the Las Vegas shooting. She questioned um, the shooting of the kids in Sandy Hook. And it, with regard to Parkland, she's actually claimed that the that the entire affair was orchestrated by left-wing activists and that they paid the security guard at the high school to allow the shooting to take place in order to advocate for stricter gun laws. That's some of the stuff she said. And she's taken this her own version of this to the halls of Congress before being elected. And the video that's really caught a lot of attention now is a scene of her from March 2019 chasing David Hogg, one of those kids Kids who survived the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas attack and went on to try to advocate for gun laws. Let's play some of that video of her. How did you get over 30 appointments with senators? How'd you do that? How did you get major press coverage on this issue? And how did you get kids? Why do you use kids? He's got nothing to say. Sad. He has nothing to say because there really isn't anything to say, you guys. He has nothing to say because he's paid to do this. He had 30, 30 um, appointments where he ran around and got to talk to senators. I got to talk to none, none. He had media coverage all over the place. I had zero. Guess what? I'm a gun owner. I'm an American citizen. And I have nothing but this guy with his George Soros funding and his major liberal funding has got everything. I want you to think about that. That's where we are. And he's a coward. He can't say one word because he can't defend his stance. Uh, that notion of calling David Hogg a coward as she chased him. There's other video as well of her actually chasing him around the halls of Congress. You know, now David Hogg earlier today on CNN addressed these claims and talked a little bit about the fact that he remembered her coming after him in that encounter. And let's play a little bit of what David Hogg had to say this morning. There's no amount of money that you could ever pay any of us to do this work because that's not why we do it. None of us want to be doing this, but we have to because sadly corrupt elected officials like Marjorie Taylor Greene are in Congress and would rather choose to protect guns uh, than children. She talks as well about, you know, saying that she's an American citizen, almost as if implying I'm not just as American as she is or any of us aren't, simply for not wanting our friends to die anymore. That's just horrific and disgusting. Jim, it's hard to believe that someone who believes these crazy conspiracy theories is an actual member of Congress. What is the reaction from other members of Congress? Well, Republicans have remained largely silent. Uh, Kevin McCarthy, the Republican leader in the House, said that he will have a talk with her, uh, but Nancy Pelosi was a lot more blunt. Uh, one of the things that's particularly outraging people is that McCarthy is in charge of who gets assigned on the Republican side to what committees. He placed her on the House Education Committee, meaning that she has control over schools and the lives of students while she's claiming that the Parkland shooting, the the Sandy Hook shooting weren't really legitimate. Now, Ted Deutsch, who represents Parkland, tweeted out his disdain today. I think we've got that tweet that we can put up, and I'll read from it. You know, Representative Green denied the school shooting at Parkland and insulted the memory of 17 murdered. She attacked brave student leaders fighting for their lives. She shouldn't have a platform to further spread dangerous lies, not on a House committee, not as a member of Congress. Jim, what's the likelihood that she could actually be expelled from Congress? So Nancy Pelosi also today called for her to be expelled. It's it's worth noting that uh, one of the posts on Facebook that she liked said that the fastest way to remove Nancy Pelosi as Speaker of the House was, and these were the words, 
a bullet to the head. Um, so Nancy Pelosi is saying that she should be removed, but it is not likely that she will be removed. It would require two thirds of the House voting to expel her. And as I said, Republicans have remained largely silent. Now, I should also note that Green issued some statements today, essentially saying that this was all fake news from, from the left and that this was a plot by socialists to try to bring her down. More conspiracies on her part. Jim DeFiti, thanks so much for your insight tonight. Of course, you can catch more from Jim on Facing South Florida with Jim DeFiti. That's Sunday morning at 830, only right here on CBS4.